Hi everyone, it's Patricia. Today I want to share this shabby chic uh, bathing suit that I created from scratch and it's also a project for Sweena and Stamp Co. that I created using the beautiful image that Lena designed, the Sweet Sophie. Isn't she super adorable guys? She's precious. And this is also a project that I created for a swap that I'm in with Leonie. Hi Leonie! So this is one of the projects that I'm sending you. So first let me get started. I drew my bathing suit on medium weight chipboard and then I used Pink Paisley, the London Market paper to cover the chipboard so it's on top and then also on the bottom really beautiful I love this paper a lot and then all the way around the bathing suit I cover with making memories pink trim and so I glued it to the bottom all the way around and then I also glued it to the top all the way around just to give it more of a shabby chic feeling to the bathing suit I really like how that turned out and then over here on the bottom I use these beautiful flowers from Prima really adorable in the blue tone and pink tone and this is a cherry blossom from I Am Roses really cute I love cherry blossoms I like using them all the time my projects and then over here I also use this bird by Prima and then on top also bird by Prima as well really adorable and then they also add some Prima bling on the bottom and here on top too behind the cherished little die cut and these die cuts came from uh, Webster Pages and I just fussy cut it out and I distressed it with Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. So here stays cherished and it's holding on by a Tim Holtz Memo pin. And then also here, this is a die cut from Marks of Pages. I also distressed it with Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. And here stays a door. Really, really adorable. And then over here, it's a butterfly that I purchased from Crystal. And the Crystal has a Ziva store and she sells recollection items. So I'm super excited about that. Whenever I want recollection items, I can always check out her store and she carries it. And then also here's a window frame, resin frame. And it's also by Recollections. It really came distressed with this green um, paint on it. But what I decided to do is just to paint it with some sandal dauber paint. And then I just went in with my Prima Distressor. And I just sanded it a couple times all the way around the window uh, frame. So I can have more of a shabby vintage feeling to uh, the window. I really like how that turned out. Very, very cute. And then also uh, over here I used a stamp, camera stamp from Amy Tangerine. And uh, I just... Uh, stamped it on the designer paper by London Market and I fussy cut it and I pop it dotted on the pop dot there and then also I add some Prima Bling underneath Sophie really adorable and for a sweet Sophie image I cut her skin with Copic markers I used the E21 and that's the baby skin pink and then I also used E00 for her uh, skin as well and then for her cheeks I used the R20 and that's blush. I really like how those colors go well together. And uh, then for her hair and her bow and her dress, I paper pieced uh, the hair and the dress using this uh, first edition paper, the Summer Breeze. And the paper is really adorable, guys. I really like the patterns on here. Tons of glitter. Beautiful um, colors. Very shabby chic tones. Really cute. And then also for her hair, I also used the same paper, the Summer Breeze. And what I basically did, I added uh, some layers to her hair. I just freehand cut my own bangs and I added on top of her hair just to give me more of a dimension. I really like how that turned out as well. Really adorable. And then to finish off with Sweet Sophie, I add the Suprema Resin Flower on top of her hand. And I think it looks so cute there. And also I add some glossy accents on top of these lines on her dress. And then I just sprinkle some glitter over the glossy accent just to give me more of a dimension look. And I think it really came out cute too. And also I like the fact that Sweet Sophie is looking at the birds so it gives it a, a more of a cute feeling to the bathing suit. Really adorable. And then also I wanted this to be a... Um, picture holder or if Leonie wanted to hold some notes on here she can so it basically holds um, 12 papers this Tim Holtz uh, hinge clip here and I also add this pink paisley sorry crystal here and some brown seam binding on top of the hinge clip as well and basically it just opens like this and all the 12 sheets of paper go here and I like how all the papers just went really well together really adorable and uh, Leonie can add pictures, journaling, uh, she wants to leave little notes on here, she can. It's really basically up to her. 
really cute patterns this paper and I love the fact that the papers match so well the bathing suit and all the embellishments that I added and the sweet Sophie image so basically I just uh, clip back the hinge clip from Tim Holtz here and it just goes like that and uh, Leonie can just tuck in her pad back here really cute how it went so well together I had a lot of fun creating this bathing suit using the beautiful image that uh, Lena created sweet Sophie and also I hope you like it Leonie one of the projects I created for you so this is a sneak peek of one of the items I'm sending you and also at the end of the video I will have uh, all sorts of uh, pictures of all the images that Lena created so far and every month guys Lena will have new digi images available so I also have the link down below so you can stop by her site and show Lena some love I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for always leaving me beautiful comments and as always guys happy scrapping bye guys